Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a simple digital score counter. In this project a character touches a stone, some random score value is generated and added to a total score count, which is shown on this nice digital display. When the total score exceeds a thousand, score is reset. Let me start from an empty project and set it up step by step to see it clearly how it works. First I add a smile sprite to the scene. This will be my character. Position it about here. Next game object will be stone, which will be giving the character some score points. Character needs some components. First one is circle collider, which helps to detect collisions with other game objects. I add one, make it a bit smaller and set it as a trigger. Also my character needs a rigid body to decompose it. This component helps me to move my character and since I want to detect collisions, one of game objects must have this component attached. So I add one and set gravity scale to zero, so my character will not fall down. Stone also needs a collider. I add circle collider to it and make its radius a bit smaller. This collider is set to trigger as well. Now let's take a look at the script that will control smile game object. Here it is. Script additionally uses system library that allows me to declare an event of action type named stone picked up. This event will take place when a stone is collected and some integer value will be passed to a game object that is subscribed to this event. The score counter will be subscribed to this event in my case. Rigid body, direction x, direction y and move speed variables will help me to move my smile game object and random score variable will take a value that will be calculated to be passed to score counter. In start method I get control over rigid body component and set move speed to 5. In update method direction x and direction y variables take values from negative 1 to positive 1 depending on which arrow button is pressed multiplied by move speed. And since I use physics to move my character, in fixed update method I give a velocity to rigid body along x and y axis. On trigger enter to the method is invoked when this game object's collider enters another collider, a stone collider in this case. When it happens, then a random score value is calculated in a range from 1 to 20. After that, stone picked up event takes place and pass that random score value to a game object that is ready to react to this event, in other words, which is subscribed to this event. It is score counter in my case, as I mentioned earlier. That's the script. I drag and drop this script to smile game object. Ok, now let's create that score counter. First I create new UI canvas, which will contain my UI elements. Here it is. Once it's created, I usually set its scale mode to scale with screen size, so UI elements will be scaled depending on game view size. Next right click on canvas and create new UI panel. This will be the score counter. I rename it as score panel. I scale it and position it like so. Make its color tint a bit darker. This panel is going to contain images which will represent numbers. Right click on score panel and create new UI image. This will be first number so I rename it as character1. Each character will display some number. By default it will show blank digit so I drag and drop blank digit sprite into source image slot here. Image appears a bit stretched so to fix that issue I check in preserve aspect option here. I position this character about here and make image rect container a bit thinner, so when I have three of characters they will align well. Ok, now I duplicate this character two times, pressing Ctrl plus D keys, rename these new images as character 2 and character 3 and realign them like so one by one. Select all of them and scale them and position them nicely inside score panel. Very well. Now it's time to examine the script that will control my score counter. Here it is named score panel. Script additionally uses Unity Engine UI library to make it possible to control UI elements. First, here I have an array of sprites named digits that will contain 11 digit sprites from 0 to 9 and one blank digit sprite. Next array of images named characters will help me to control images inside score panel to display a number I need. Score amount variable will hold the total score amount to display. Number of digits in score amount variable will help me to divide score amount number to separate digits to display each of them separately. In start method I use for loop with three iterations to give each digit character a blank digit sprite. Blank digit sprite will have zero index in digits array. I will set it in inspector later. After that I reset score amount. 
Next line of code subscribes score panel game object to stone picked up event, so when that event takes place, add score and display it method will be invoked. This method takes random score value as a parameter. As we remember, this random value is calculated in smile script and passed out when stone picked up event occurs. So add score method takes that random value and add it to total score amount. After that, just to make it clear what number is added to score amount, I display it in the console. Then I check if score amount exceeds a thousand, and if it does, then score amount is set back to zero with the remainder of score amount and thousand subtraction. Next line of code populates score amount by digits array with score amount digits using get digits array from score amount method. What is happening inside this method? This method takes score amount as a parameter and divides it into separate digits. How is it done? First, I create a list which will contain those digits. A list is used for that purpose just because it's much easier to add a number into a list and then to convert it to an array than to add a value to an array directly because in that case we have to know an array size. But we don't know it because we don't know score amount value. Actually we do, but we don't know how many digits in it. That's why we use this method after all. Ok, so with help of while loop I add last digit of score amount to the list using this operator which leaves a remainder of division. After that I divide score amount by 10, so I cut last digit off. For example, if I have a number like 234, then 4 goes to the list and score amount becomes equal to 23. Loop is going until I have some digits in score amount value. When the list is done, I reverse it to get initial sequence of characters and after that this method returns an array of score amount digits. I really hope I made it clear. If I didn't, then I would be waiting for your questions in comments. Ok, when I get score amount digits, I can display them separately with my score display. Switch operator helps me to do so, checking out that score amount array length. So if array length is 1, which means that I have only one digit in it, then this number is displayed by third character of my display. If this length is 2, then first number is displayed by second character and second number is displayed by third character. And if array length is 3, then first number goes to first digit, second number goes to second digit and third goes to third. Again, I hope it's clear. The last important thing in this script is about event subscription. If some game object is subscribed to some public event, then it should be unsubscribed when this subscription is no longer needed. Otherwise, a null reference exception may occur in some cases. Scene reloading, for example. One of the way to unsubscribe is to do so in onDestroy method, like that. That's the script. I drag and drop the script to score panel. Select score panel and now it's time to populate these arrays with sprites and game objects. First one will be digits array. Array length will be 11, so it will contain 10 digit sprites and one blank sprite. I just drag and drop corresponding sprites from project folder to their slots. 0 sprite goes to 0, 1 goes to 1 and so on down to 9. Blank sprite goes to 10. Next array is characters 1. Its length will be 3, since I have 3 digits in my score display. So character 1 goes to the first slot, character 2 goes to the second one and character 3 goes to third slot. That's it, everything is done. Now I can hit play and see how it works. Player can move up, down, right and left and when it collides with the stone, a random value is calculated and added to score amount. This score amount is shown by this nice digital display. And when score amount becomes greater than 1000, then it goes from the start. Hope you find anything useful in this video, thank you for watching and see you next time.